everyone and welcome back to my channel. So today we're outside the back of the van and that's because I'm going to show you guys like a trail side tubeless conversion except we're not at the trails, we're on the driveway but you can take this concept and do it at the trails if you want to. So I'm going to do the tubeless conversion using muck off products and I'm going to go through the things that I have to do it right now. So these are the products that I have kindly been sent by Muckoff and I'm super excited to try them because there's a few new products here that I've never tried before and I'll just go through them briefly with you. So here we have the Muckoff glue sealant and sealant remover. So this is basically used if you've already got tubeless in your tires. So it goes all that like gummy, tacky horrible sticky stuff that you can never ever get out and I actually used to find that the nanotech got it out pretty well but there's this now which I'm so so excited to use. The next product that I have is the Muck Off tubeless rim tape and this is in 30 millimeters wide because that is the width of my rims but it also comes in various other different sizes so depending on whether you've got um, wider rims or skinnier rims for like road biking or something but this basically lines the um, rim and makes it seal pretty good and avoids any leakages in the tubeless. So next is the Muck Off No Puncher Hassle Tubeless Sealant and this is the main event really so you can't have tubeless without tubeless sealant and it comes in this really handy pouch and one of these will do one wheel and they've also got the easy applicator on the on the top here as well and you can also reseal it if you uh, don't use it all which is pretty handy. So this is what I'm so excited about. These are the Muck Off tubeless valves and they're in the colour pink which is what I asked for because I absolutely love this colour but they come in so many other different colours as well um, and they also come in different lengths. So these ones are 44 millimetres long, they do it in 60 and 80 as well obviously depending on the style of bike you've got but I'm super excited to put these on because I think the pink is going to look so so nice. Right so it's now time to crack on and actually do the tubeless conversion now so first things first what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take the wheel out of my bike this isn't going to be like a tutorial because I actually am probably the worst person to teach you how to do tubeless but this is literally how I do it like I've done it a few times now I've had my other e-bike I converted tubeless and my um, non e-bike I did tubeless as well so I've done it a few times but I'm definitely not an expert that's for sure. So now what I'll do is just break the tyre off the rim so you just pop it off the bead. But this is my most favourite part because I love the sound and it makes you feel really strong. You ready? <laughs> didn't really make much of a sound did it? But anyway so we've got a rim and we've got a tyre so I'm going to put the tyre over here. Save that for later because we'll be putting them ones back on. But what we've got to do now is find the edge of this tape which I can tell already is going to be a oh no, found it there we go all done so that's going to go in the bin now and I'm going to get the muck off rim tape and pop that on right now just like that really push down on it to get a really good seal right so now all the tapes on and as you can see we've got our little muck off sticker there so when you come to change your tubeless and your rim tape the next time you know exactly where the join is so you're not spending ages faffing around trying to find it which is pretty handy tip to, to do really I think. So what I'm going to do now is get the valves and poke them through the valve hole and then we can put the tyre back on and just put the tubers in and then we're ready to go for a shred. So I've just unboxed the tubeless valves and they look so so nice and I'm super stoked with these ones because they match my bike so well and the grip the collar on the roof as well which looks insane first things first what i'm going to do is find the hole that i need to insert this out which is just here 
and then just poke it through basically but what I'm going to do is take these bits off first because they go on the other side right so now I've taken all of these little bits off I'm going to poke it through the hole just like that and then pop these bits on the other side screws on just like this and squashes the little rubber donut and what that does is it means that nothing can escape so then with the help of the allen key you can make sure it's on super tight so that's not going to go anywhere now so the next job is to so i'm just going to put the cap back on so i don't lose it but the next job is i'm going to put the tie back on and then we can move on to the next bit what are your tips because I always struggle with this bit. I end up getting the tyre levers because the last bit gets super tight. But maybe. Oh no! Look at that! That's never happened before. And I'm glad it happened for this video because it makes life a lot easier. Right, I'm going to take the valve core out now. And this handy tool comes with your um, tubeless valves. And you hook it on just like that and then you spin it well that was so easy so right we've got our no puncture tubeless sealant and basically it says on the back there's a little guide and if you've got a road bike an mtb 26 inch 27 29 downhill bike even varies as to how much sealant you put in so the front wheel on my bike is obviously a 29 inch wheel and it says you put anything between 105 and 140 mil and one of these pouches is 140 mil so I'm just going to put the whole thing in and squeeze it all in just like that but again like I said if you don't use the whole packet then you can reseal it you just put the lid back on and it keeps for ages right so i'm putting the core back in now and then what we're going to do is give it a spin to um to make sure that the tubeless has gone all the way round and then it's time to pump it up and that's the moment of truth to find out whether or not the uh tubeless has worked there we go air compressor connected turn it on and then pump it up and hopefully it works yay so good put the cap back on and there we have it one tubeless wheel which is epic it looks so good the pink matches the bike so well I'm super happy with that and it's just as easy as that pretty much so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to do the back wheel off camera and then I'll come back to you guys so we can admire the tubeless valves um, yeah be right back there we go the back wheel is done and that tubeless valve just looks absolutely insane I'm super super happy with them I think it matches the bike pretty good to be fair with the oil slick grips and I've got my custom mud guard here as well with a bit of pink in it yeah super super stoked and it can actually be done at a trail side like you don't have to have an airline if you've got a pump and you've got all the bits that you need to do it then you can actually do it absolutely anywhere so yeah I hope you guys have enjoyed this video give it a thumbs up if you have leave some comments below and I'll see you guys very soon bye